today let's begin with practice set 15.2 write the first sum lengths of the diagonals of rhombus are 15 cm and 24 cm find its area now first we need to know what is the area of a rhombus formula so area of a rhombus is area of rhombus is half into product of length lengths of diagonals so we are not going to write the whole thing like uh, what we do is we let half into d1 into d2 d1 stands for diagonal 1 and d2 stands for diagonal 2 so now here we have half into what is the diagonal 1 over here 15 and diagonal 2 24 so half into 15 into 24 so 2 ones are 2 ones are 2 twos are so that is 2 twelves are 24 so what remains 15 into 12 let's multiply 15 into 12 is 5 twos are 10 2 ones are 2 and 5 twos are 10 2 ones are 2 and 1 3 into 15 so you get 0 8 1 so it is 180 square centimeter since its area it's 180 square centimeter and what's the final answer answer the area of the uh, rhombus is 180 square centimeter the area of the rhombus is 180 square centimeter Let's do sum number 2 now. Okay, sum number 2. Length of the diagonals of a rhombus are 16.5 and 14.2. That means D1 is 16.5 centimeters and D2 is 14.2 centimeters. Find area. Area is how much now? Area is area of rhombus is half into d1 into d2 that is half into 16.5 into 14.2 2 ones are 2 sevens are point 2 ones are so it is 16.5 into 7.1 so 16.5 into 7.1 one five is a five, one six is a six, one one is a one. Into seven five is a thirty-five, seven six is a forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, and forty-five. Seven one is a seven plus four is eleven. Five, eleven, five, six, seven, one, one. Point after two numbers. So you get hundred and seventeen point one five square centimeter so final answer you write what is the area of a rhombus area of a rhombus is 117.15 square centimeter if perimeter of a rhombus is 100 centimeters now perimeter has come in if perimeter of a rhombus is 100 centimeters and length of one diagonal is 48 what is the area of the quadrilateral that means you have to find the area but now perimeter has come into picture. So let's draw a rough figure here first. Okay. Perimeter is 100. We all know that all the sides of a rhombus are equal. So if perimeter is 100 centimeters, each side will be how much? 100 by 4. Since all are equal, so 4 ones are 4 25s are. So, so each side is going to be how much? 25, 25. 25 and 25 okay so it's going to have two diagonals diagonals are going to be perpendicular bisectors all right so now one diagonal they say is 48 so one is 48 one diagonal is 48 centimeters okay now if this is 48 so half of it is going to be 24 right 24 and 24 all right so now this is 90 degree so let's label this okay we call it a b c d and this will be our o 
all right so if length pd is equal to 48 cm therefore length ob is equal to half of 48 that means divide 48 by 2 you get 24 cm now this is 24 This is twenty-five. This is ninety degree. Use Pythagoras theorem and find the other side. So if you get this other side, double it, you get the second diagonal also. And then when so once you get the second diagonal, you can find the area. Now only one diagonal we have. We don't have two diagonals. We need two to find an area. So what we'll do is we'll use Pythagoras theorem and find this side. So according to Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to side one square plus side two square. Now hypotenuse is twenty five. So what we'll write is twenty five square is equal to side one is twenty four. Twenty four square plus s two. We'll keep it as side two like that only because we don't know. So twenty five square is six twenty five, and twenty four square is five seventy six plus side two square. Now this comes this side. So six twenty five minus five seventy six is equal to side two square. So six twenty five minus five seventy six is forty nine is equal to side two square. So root of forty nine is equal to side two. Therefore, side two is side two is seven centimeters. Now, if this is seven, the whole thing is going to be fourteen. Seven into two. Therefore, I'll do it here. Okay, so length OC is equal to seven centimeters. Therefore, length AC is going to be seven into two is equal to fourteen centimeters. Now, one diagonal is fourteen, the other diagonal is forty-eight. Therefore, area is area will be half into D one into D two. Half into D one into D two means half. Into forty-eight into fourteen. Two ones are two twenty-fours are. Now twenty-four into fourteen is three three six. Twenty-four into fourteen is three three six square centimeters. So your final answer is three three six square centimeters. Again, I'll repeat. See what we have done is one one side is twenty-five. The whole diagonal was given, so we made it half, so it became twenty-four. Now twenty-four, twenty-five. Use Pythagoras theorem and find the third side. Once you get the third side, double it up, you get the second diagonal. So once you get the second diagonal, half into d one into d two, you get the area of the rhombus. Now we finish with the third sum. Let's go to the fourth sum. Okay, now fourth sum. Fourth sum says if the length of the diagonal of a rhombus is thirty and its area is two forty, find its perimeter. Now, what is given to us? Area is given. Area is two forty, and one diagonal is thirty. All right. So what we have to do is we have to find the perimeter. Again, we'll draw a figure. One diagonal, the other diagonal. Okay, L, M, N, O. So now what we want is now suppose this is thirty this this whole thing is thirty so this is going to be fifteen and fifteen so one is thirty area is two forty okay so let's let's do one thing let's find the diagonal two first diagonal one we have so area of uh, area of a rhombus half into d one into d two so Two forty is equal to half into d one is how much thirty into d two. So this which is down goes up. So two forty into two upon thirty is equal to d two. All right, zero zero gets cancelled. Three ones are three eights are eight twos are sixteen. So your diagonal two is sixteen centimeters. All right. Sixteen centimeters means now this is going to be eight and this is going to be eight. All right, this center will label it as M L M N O. Okay, we call it P. Now, see this whole thing is M N is M O is 
is 30 therefore mp is going to be half of 30 is going to be 15 centimeters okay this is mp now ln ln is 16 centimeters therefore pn pn is half of 16 that is 8 centimeters so 15 8 90 degrees so again pythagoras theorem now we have to find out the hypotenuse once we get the hypotenuse we get one side of the rhombus multiplied with four and get the perimeter so according to pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. Hypotenuse we don't know. 15 and 8 we know. So 15 square plus 8 square. 225 plus 64. Now 225 plus 64 is 289. 289. Okay. Hypotenuse square is. So hypotenuse is how much? root of 289 and that is 17 centimeters. Now mn is 17 centimeters. One side is 17 therefore perimeter is 1 is 17. So perimeter is going to be 4 into side that is 4 into 17 and 4 17s are 68. So, 68 is going to be the perimeter of the rhombus. Again, I will tell you first what did we do? We found out D2. After finding out D2, half half, half half we did and then we using Pythagoras theorem, we found the hypotenuse. After finding the hypotenuse, uh, we multiplied with 4 and we got the perimeter. And that's it. That's the end of exercise 15.2.